Hello, Kayleen here. If you've been here before, you know the drill. We're just gonna stretch together. If you're new here, hello. Hope you enjoy this nice little stretch. Hopefully it's calming and gets you nice and flexible. I won't be talking too much throughout this one just cause, I don't know. I did a lot of talking ones recently. So I'm just gonna guide you through the stretches and play some soft, nice music. Hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and start standing up. All right, feet are pretty wide apart. We're gonna reach side to side. And reach over to your left. And move into a flat back on that side. And let's release up and back. Don't fall like me. <laughs> Let's go all the way down. Take a bend in your other leg. And straighten. Again, take a plie in that opposite leg. And straighten. Let's go back to our flat back and reach to the side and up. Let's reach side to side. Over to the other side. And flat back. And release back. And go all the way down over that front leg. Let's plie the other leg. And straighten. Again, bend that other leg. And straighten. Back to flat back. And side. Up. Go straight down to the center and just hang right there in the middle. Good. Walk your hands through your legs if you can, so towards the back. And bend those knees, stay where you are. Straighten them. See if you can get a little lower or a little closer to the floor. One more time, let's bend those knees, pull ourselves through. Straighten. All right, let's go over to our left leg and I'm actually gonna turn all the way and face that leg. My legs are still pretty wide, both legs are straight. I'm trying to get my chest closer to my leg. All right, so you're gonna plie or bend your back leg while you flex the front foot. And straighten, lower that flex foot. I'm gonna do that again. Flex and plie. And straighten. 
You might need to walk your legs in a little closer to each other to do this next part, like me. Just relevate your back leg, which means pick up your back heel and try and get a little closer to that front leg. And lower that heel back down. Make sure that you're breathing deep breaths to help relax your muscles into the stretch. I'm gonna try that releve again. Pick up your heel, pull yourself in. And lower that heel back down. And let's go ahead and go into a runner's lunge from here. My back leg is really nice and straight, has energy through, throughout. And you should also have energy in that front leg. So you're pushing down through the floor, through that front foot. Okay, go ahead and drop your back heel, or I'm sorry, your back knee. It's been a long day. And place both hands up on your knee. And let's sit back on that back leg. Not all the way yet, but just go ahead and bend it. Straighten the front leg. Try and get yourself closer to that front leg. And now go ahead and sit all the way back down. come back up and we're gonna go ahead and go into a pigeon pose on this side so I'm gonna bend my front leg straighten the back leg and just try and sink down you can drop to your elbows if you'd like into our lunge. It's a very awkward transition. So we're in our lunge and I want you to turn all the way to the front. My joints are popping. Here, I just want you to sink those hips down to the floor as much as you can. Let's go ahead and switch it to the other side. All right, let's twist over to the other lunge. Energy through both of those legs. You can drop your knee down and I'm going to place both hands up on my front knee. If you squeeze your glute muscles, the muscles in your bottom, you should feel this a little bit more deeply. Okay, let's sit back. all the way back. Okay, let's 
go to pigeon, bend the front leg. Okay, slowly come back up to our lunge. Ooh. Oh god, <laughs> you didn't see that. Me basically falling. Okay, from here we're gonna turn and face the front. That definitely woke me up. And switch sides. I was trying to be very quiet about my transition because this microphone is really sensitive and I didn't want to disrupt the stretch, but I fell. Switch back again. And we're gonna turn back to our lunge and then straighten. We're gonna do the reverse of what we did on the other side. So hang here over your leg. Let's go ahead and bend the back leg and flex the front. And straighten. Let's do that again. Flex and plie. And straighten. And now we're gonna releve the back foot. lower that heel. Let's do that again. Releve. And lower. Let's turn to the center. Let's hang here for just a moment. Now we're gonna slowly lower ourselves down to the floor, however you wanna get there. I'm gonna open my legs out into a straddle. Don't know what you call this. So many names for it. Pancake, I've heard recently. Didn't know that. Okay, let's reach side to side. And over to one side. Really elongate that arm and turn and face your leg. All right, let's make sure that our kneecaps stay looking up toward the ceiling and let's reach toward the inside of our leg, kind of at the diagonal. Decide and go the other direction. And reach over that leg. And we can stretch toward the inside of our leg now. Mm -hmm. 
Let's come back up and we're gonna reach toward the center, keeping those knees up to the sky. Slowly work your way back up. Okay, we are going to head into our splits on the right side first. If you don't have your splits yet, just hold yourself up um, in whatever is like the lowest point that you can go, but try and keep those legs straight. So I, if I were you, <laughs> would come into it like this. Straight legs, or not straight legs, my hips squared off and then straighten my legs and slowly lower down. Yeah. on holding there if you want and you um, if you want to release back you can and come up relax other side I'm going to release back now. And relax. Let's go into our middle split. Everyone's favorite. I don't know. Some people really like it. The little dancers that I teach, the young girls, they really like the middle split. Okay, here we go. stretch our upper body just a little bit. So flip onto your stomach, your belly, and have your hands right underneath your shoulders. We're just gonna press up. Oh, that was my elbow. Pressing up as high as you can. You want to try um, bending your knees and pushing your body up towards your toes. You can do that. Clearly, I'm very far away from mine, but we're working on it. And relax. 
And let's do the opposite. So let's go into a child's pose and stretch your back out. And let's come up to hands and knees. Do a little cat cow here, so arching that back and then flipping the other way. Just slowing down our breath. And from here, if you want to take one arm, I'm going to go with my right first. I'm going to thread it through my other one. Stretch out the top of my back. And come up. Other side. And come up, stretch whatever else you need to. But this is where our time together is gonna come to an end. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this stretch to be useful and helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know what other kinds of stretches or videos you'd like to see from me in the future. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.